Do you agree that public servants should be required to work in the office three days per week? I think it dep depends on the... I think there's people that actually can work at home. And then I think there's people that are not as capable as getting as much done as they would if in the office. And I also believe that it actually stunts some people because they're not learning from their peers who have more experience. And I think that's, that's a shortfall. I, I don't believe the government should be treated any different than the, the private sector. And it seems like the private sector has gone to their work from home policy is that they don't have a work from home policy. Um, and I think people should be able to go back to work. And I, I also believe that people need to be in the office. It creates a community. It fosters innovation. I think people working in silos is no good for, for anybody. Yes, work from home culture was for the pandemic. And I guess like work from home makes a person lazy. They don't, they don't see what, like they don't see their own potential, what they can work for. If their job entails that they could do their job just as well from their homes where they could do other things at the same time, then obviously they should be able to do so. Um, I'm a public servant, I'm a teacher, so obviously I can't work from home ever because I have to be with kids and that makes perfect sense, but a lot of jobs aren't like that. I think public servants, similar to people in the, in the private sector, you know, uh, working in the office, depending on the nature of the job, is important. And so, you know, if, if it's part of, the, part of the job to work in the office, I think that, that for sure they should be required to, to work in the office. No. I think they should be uh, as us, like other people. I mean, the COVID already done, and I feel that everyone should return back to the offices because it also promotes the economical and other small businesses to grow, right? You go to the office, you go out buy coffee, you go buy lunch, so yeah. No, I think we proved in 2020 that we were able to be efficient from a distance and I'm all for work from home. Um, as long as there's clear criteria and that you are meeting the, the performance indicators, I don't think you should be obliged to go back to work. I think so, yes. It gets them into the community. Pretty simple as that, honestly, instead of sitting at home. Yeah. You think it helps the economy, things like that? Yeah, yeah. They're out, they're buying lunch, they're buying dinners. Yeah. yeah. No. No. Why? It's not necessary. What? It's not necessary. Why? We can do everything at home. Yeah. yeah. We, I think the pandemic proved that a lot of people can work just as efficiently at, ho at home and do their work. I think as long as people are getting their work done, it shouldn't matter. But then again, there's different styles of managing. And I think people like to be able to watch what people are doing. And that's why they're making them go into the office. That's up to management. That's called management rights and management has certain rights to dictate uh, the work that is done and one of them is where the work is performed. So uh, we're going to have to leave it to management to decide the correct balance. My dad likes the hybrid personally. Uh, my mom's less mobile, just like low back problems. So she's not looking forward to it. Um, she's looking that she can oppose that uh, at least half the week spent at home, I think she'd benefit from that. But I think enforcing it's not a bit much because you can be just as much productive at home. You save a lot of time too because there's less commute, stuff like that. I was a public service servant and I worked five days in the office. And I think working in the office gives you more of a sense of working as a team and consulting with your colleagues and you're not necessarily staring at a screen all day. I think it's just healthier. Um, <laughs> it just depends on what department they're working in. Um, if it's something that requires being in the office, absolutely. If it's something that can be done off-site, then you're not wasting taxpayers' money to be in an office, to use other things. If a job can get done without going to the office, why not? You don't need to, personally. Um, I don't think it makes a difference working from home or working in the office. I'm like, yeah, sounds fair. It depends on the, on the tasks they have to do. But um, if it's more mostly work that's like doesn't need the client facing, I think if other industries are doing it, it's only fair that they should be able to do the same thing. As long as I think productivity won't be affected. So yeah. that really depends on what they do for a living. If they can work from home and get their job completed, then by all means, let them work from home. I think they should work from home if they're able to get their job done at home because I think the less um, rent that the government has to pay for people to be at work, 
is better for the better for the country? It's money to spend. Uh, that's a tough one. I have to go in two days a week. Management where I work has to go in three days a week. So I think if the private sector and the public sector are going to be kind of even in that sense, so I would say they probably should have to go in eventually. I've been going in for what almost two years now, and I know the federal government just mandated them to go in. Oh God, I think in September, three days a week. So I think it's about time they need to go in. I have to do it, so why why don't they have to do it? In other words.